This is Pride Bongani, and welcome to Zanse White. Today I take a look at a very talented and gifted band that originated in Zimbabwe. The band was multiracial in nature and it transcended race, class and age. The band gave us classics such as True Love, Shoshuloza, Chisalanga and Fanyana. Today I tell the story of Ilanga. The story starts somewhere around the early 1980s where we meet a Mirunga born young Andy Brown who on his high school days at Founders High School used to skip classes just so that he could play the electric guitar. And later after schooling days, Andy Brown played a bit with Ipony Sheik, we have with him sing with the twin sister Spatisiwe and the now late sister Doreen Mobi. After the days of Ipony Sheik, Andy Brown met Gabriel Green with whom he started the band Pieces, so named after their zodiac sign in 1980. Three years later, Andy Brown left Bulawayo for Harare, where he hung out with Boy Kimo and Rosala Miller, who later became members of the group Grape. The group, however, disbanded in 1984 when Rosala left for England, where a career peaked. Andy went on to join the Roseke brothers for a short time in 1985. Then in 1986, Andy Brown met Don Kumbo, a left-handed bass guitarist from Bulawayo. Legend has it that early in his career, Don Kumbo couldn't find a left-handed bass guitar, so he got the right-handed instrument anyway and played it upside down. Eighteen-year-old Keith met Comrade Chinks in 1985 at Ben Miller and Jane Bartlett's record company called One World Records, and Comrade Chinks was the first artist they recorded. And there, Keith and Chinks collaborated on the hits such as Zucomborero and Nerudo. In 1986, Andy Brown, Don Kumbo, Brian Paul formed Ilama. That year, they released two unimpressive singles, Tandiwe and Song of Africa, which resulted in the departure of Brian from the group. A shift in the band took place after Comrade Chinks, Munya Brown, merged with Ilang. Charles Mangena, Vigolia Ignacio, a 19-year-old Busi Ngube joined the band. Busi got the invitation to join the band through his sister. Later, Adam Chiso came in as percussionist. After incorporating the new members, Ilang recorded a few singles before hitting the big time. Stepping Stepping was one of their earliest hits, introducing them to Zimbabwe with a new unique sound which they refer to as the hybrid sound. Stepping Stepping With my baby Sticking Sticking Stick together needed to take Zimbabwe music to, uh, to a higher level and uh, so we started to play around with different rhythms of Southern Africa as such including Zimbabwe and uh, that's what we came up with this sound that we call hybrid. In 1987, 
the album Visions for Told was recorded and its release put Ilanga on the music map. Shoshuloza became everyone's party song. The album also displayed their activism with the song Bota, which was speaking against the apartheid government in South Africa. Bota, Bota, what you gonna do when the sun is free? Bota, Bota, you just have to jump into the sea. Munya Brown left the band as a result of differences in musical direction in which the band was to take. He later formed his own band, Transit Crew. For the record, Munya did not record with the band. Ilanga had to use a drum machine to record visions for told. Don Kumbo later told the music researcher Fred Zindi that Munya Brown's departure from the band was a blessing in disguise. Munya left during recording. His replacement was a drum machine. You'd expect Don Kumbo to be a purist about using a drum machine. The drum machine used on the smash hit Shushuloza came the magic formula the group needed. Ilanga was later joined by a new drummer, Gibson Nyon. Their next massive release was in 1988, the hit True Love. The song came with the melodious voice of Wusi on lead vocals and Andy Brown's opening guitar riff on his own. He has for more than three decades saved many weddings and parties from collapse. This was followed by the release of their next album, Silver and Gold. It was immediately after the release of Silver and Gold that Andy Brown decided to leave Ilanga after a dispute with Don Kumbu. It is said that he literally walked off stage during a performance in Bulawayo. This dramatic departure was regrettable, for Ilanga seemed to have lost its course forever after this. The band later released the project Ilanga Road, which had some good tunes but failed to make an impact on the market. Keith also left the group straight after recording the album, and by 1991 only Don Kumbo remained as the original member of Ilanga. According to Busin Mube, on an interview one evening after the band had came back from a tour in the United Kingdom, which was funded by the band, that Don Kumbo decided to turn against everyone and chase them out of his house in Harare. After the incident, he told the band members never to come to his house, and that was the end of Ilanga. After the split, Kumbo left for South Africa, where he formed a new band, Chisalanga, and released the album, It's My Time. Don also appeared as a session basis for many singers. These include Jabo Kanyele, with whom he appears on the video for 10 Times Love. And on that video, shot on stage, Don with dark shades can be seen on the bass guitar. However, his career was short-lived as he passed away in the year 1998. After leaving Ilanga, Andy Brown went to South Africa where he was a session musician. He appeared on one of Jambo's music videos. On his return to Zimbabwe, he formed his own group, The Storm, and launched his career. With his group, he released albums such as Feed Me, Gondwana Land, Tikere, Wundu Esaza, Retrospective, and Passage of Time. It was at this time that he met Chiwoniso Marairi, who was a backing vocalist in his band. His peak was in 1997 when he toured Namibia. Mozambique and other countries where he shared the stage with the likes of Miriam Makewa, Manu Tibaku, Ishmaelo, Yondo Sisters, Kofi Olomitia, Bumshaka, Mapamal, Kanda Bongomen. After his popularity won out, Andy Brown became part of the More Fire crew, which did not work in his favor. And in 2012, a day after turning 50, Andy Brown passed away.
Comrade Chinks, shortly after leaving Ilanga, also pursued a solo career. He also acted in films such as Flame, which came out in 1996, as well as writing the score for the 1989 South African documentary Limpopo Line, backed by the police band. His hit song, titled Vanove Sevomo Africa, was voted the Silver Jubilee, most inspiring song of the Liberation War at the National Arts Merit Awards in 2005. His outstanding hit, Roger Confirm, stayed on the radio hit peak charts for 25 hits in 1989 and early 1980. In 2017, he released an album featuring prisons and correctional services, civil education, despite his ill health. Later that year, in June, after battling a long illness, passed away and was laid to rest. After Ilanga disbanded in the late 1980s, Busi formed her own band, Band Rain. Band Rain recorded over nine albums and toured Southern Africa, the Czech Republic, Ireland, the UK, and Norway. In 2001, Busi was invited to the Norwegian Concert Institute to take part in a seminar about women in world music. There she met a Norwegian Algerian music producer, Maliki Makauf, who invited her to join a project called Women's, Women's Voice. The group consisted of female musicians from Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Algeria, France, Israel, Norway, and released an album. In 2017, she released an album, Salu Landela, and in 2018, she released another album, Usigo. Wusi is currently living in Norway and to date, she still continues to make music. Keith went on to be musical director on the acclaimed Zimbabwean film, Everyone's Child. He since collaborated with Chiwoni Somarayere on the album Rebel Women. Keith also played with Andy Brown, The Storm. In 2011, he won the Best South African Music Award Summer for the Best Sound Engineer for Freshly Grounded album Radio Africa. In 2015, Keith became the managing director of the Academy of Sound Engineering, Cape Town Campus, where he also currently serves as the campus principal. Keith still produces, mixes, and engineers in Cape Town, mainly in long standing collaboration with the South African band Fresh the Ground. One thing that I find quite interesting is that the members of Ilama band, when they went solo, they each named their bands after the elements of the weather. From Andy Brown's The Storm, to Wusi, Spend Rain, to Don Kumbo, Chisalama. And I'm also quite fascinated about the level of talent that was in Ilama. How talented the members of the group were. And honestly, a part of me, still wishes that Ilanga made more music and collaborated more because they were such a force to be reckoned with. Well fam, thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Zase Wide. I really had so much fun learning about Ilanga. I hope you did too. Like the video if it's something that you like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Follow Zazese on Instagram and like us on Facebook. Pride Bongani signing out for Zazese. Issue. Catch you on the next one.